All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Warriors Daily. My name is Jackson. I post daily dubs content. Hit that like button. Hit that sub button if you guys enjoy it. We have a weird one here today. Uh, if you guys know my thoughts on Mac McClung, if you've been watching at any point over this summer, you know my thoughts that Mac McClung can be developed into a future star or at the very worst, super solid role player here in Golden State. Well, it appears that the Golden State Warriors feel very differently about the G League Rookie of the Year last year. He actually almost won MVP in the G League. It's very confusing to me because the Lakers, he was balling out with the Lakers in the Summer League, ends up getting cut, comes to Golden State, balls out in our Summer League. It's just a weird situation. So according to Anthony Slater, the Athletic, the Warriors have actually signed Ty Jerome to a training camp deal, or they're still kind of discussing it. They also have signed Anthony Lamb to a training camp deal. I got to tell you, man, I don't know what in the hell they're doing. I, Anthony Lamb is one of the worst basketball players in the entire NBA. And I am really rooting for him because I remember watching him play at University of Vermont. I scouted Anthony Lamb very heavily coming out of college and in his first rookie season with the Houston Rockets. And he would just throw up all these duds. He looked horrible in Rockets Summer League this year. I have no idea what they see in Anthony Lamb, but... If you know, I don't want to be as I don't want to be pessimistic. I don't want to be all depressed. If there's a team that exists out there that can develop Anthony Lamb into a keyword here, playable basketball player, he is not playable. <laughs> if Anthony Lamb were to make this roster and get actual minutes, you guys would be pissed off after probably one game. That he's just not playable right now. If so, if somebody's going to develop him, it's going to be the Gold State Warriors. So we have that going for us. Now, Ty Jerome's a little enticing because, like, he just got traded to Houston. He's clearing waivers today, so this this move will probably happen relatively soon. Was drafted number twenty fourth overall from Virginia in the two thousand and nineteen draft. He played one season with the Suns. He played two seasons with the Thunder. I still personally, I don't really see too much about why they want him either um i think these are just pure camp bodies i think that's really all it boils down to is they're pure camp bodies you have nothing to lose you know the warriors probably aren't going to make a move with their 15th roster spot just to for tax purposes you also keep it open but in his three-year career 25 years old 7.1 points he's only shooting 37.8 from the floor not good 2.1 assists 1.6 rebounds like i just am not quite sure but he's gonna have the ability to fight for a roster spot with jerome robinson trevion williams pat spencer etc etc and the mac mcclung news was just announced about 10 minutes ago from sham so kind of doggy i don't really understand what's going on today actually in any way shape or form maybe you guys could help shed some light on this but hit that like button hit that sub button